Readings for the day. 2022 on Tuesday, December 20th. The readings from the regular cycle. The epistle, Tuesday of the 28th week. The reading is from Paul's second letter to Timothy. Timothy, my son, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is the judge of the living and the dead, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be urgent in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, and exhort, be unfailing in patience and in teaching, for the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own likings, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander into myths. The Gospel, Tuesday of the 14th week of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, the Pharisees came up to Jesus and in order to test him, asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, "Did What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to put her away. But Jesus said to them, for their hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And in the house... The disciples asked him again about this matter, and he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her, and if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The readings for the commemoration, for feast of the birth of our Savior, the epistle for the saint. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, recall the former days when after you were enlightened you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on the prisoners and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an, abi and an abiding one. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have, to, for you have need of endurance, so that you may do the will of God and receive what is promised. For yet a little while... And the coming one shall come and shall not tarry, but my righteous one shall live by faith. The Gospel for the Saint The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus and his disciples came to Capernaum. And when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had discussed with one another who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all this. If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and put them in the midst of them, put the child in the midst of them, and Taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. 
John said to him, Teacher, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me, for he that is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink, because you bear the name of Christ, will by no means lose his reward. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion, Synaxarion from the Menaion. On December 20th, we commemorate the Holy Hieromartyr Ignatius, the God-bearer. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Philogonios, Philogonios, a lawyer who became Bishop of Antioch. The, the holy neo-martyr John, who was from the island of Thassos and witnessed in Constantinople in 1654, died by the sword. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Fasting rule. Wine and oil are allowed. Refrain from meat, fish, dairy, and eggs. It is the Christmas fast. <laughs>